844 developing right now. Jeff Bezos sending shockwaves when he announced he was shooting for the stars. Literally, the Amazon CEO announced yesterday he's going to ride his aerospace company's own rocket into space. This sets Bezos up as the first billionaire with a private space fleet to actually fly on board one of his ships, fulfilling his lifelong dream of going to space. He won't be the CEO of Amazon. He just stepped down just before that, but still a major uh, issue there for sure. And joining us more is the, we'll talk about heading into space is the planetarium director at Seminole State College, Derek Demeter. Good to see you, Derek. Always a pleasure to be here. So is Jeff Bezos setting the standard here? Obviously, a number of these CEOs would love to do this. It looks like he's going to be the first. Well, he is. Uh, I mean, his company is Blue Origin. And, uh, you know, this new Shepard rocket that he's wanting to send to suborbital launches is, uh, you know, he's he's going to be the beta tester for that, right? This will be the first ever launch with uh, uh, with him and his brother and several other uh, uh you know, people that are willing to take the, the seat on this rocket. Which is pretty cool. And, you know, I've talked to a lot of people associated with space to say this is going to become very normal for space tourists. We know Blue Origin's a big player here. Virgin Galactic is. How quickly will this happen? It's hard to say, really. But, um, you know, the, the other thing is that, you know, the more and more people do this and the more demand there is, the price will get lower. Um, you know, this is technically what's considered to be uh, truly suborbital. It's only in a few minutes in actual space itself. Um, but this should hopefully, if it goes successfully, and there's been several launches uh, with between Blue Origin and Virgin Galactic, uh, we might be seeing more space tourism uh, in the next couple of years. And Derek, a lot of people are going to have to separate this from what we see with NASA, obviously, when they're going to the space station. Very shorter flight. In fact, from what I've heard, you don't even need a spacesuit to do these type of flights. No, and, and, and actually, uh, there, I mean, we're here in Central Florida. In fact, some of the roller coasters, like uh, like you see at the theme parks, actually experience greater G-forces than some of these rocket launches. So uh, the training involved and stuff is not as extensive um, as you would if you were an astronaut going up into the International Space Station or eventually to the moon and to Mars. How different, Derek, will the actual launch be in the vehicle itself from what we're used to seeing? Um, well, I mean, it's definitely a lot shorter, um, and the G-forces are still, you know, three times more than what you would experience, um, you know, obviously here on Earth, just standing around. But you're still, it, it's only a few minutes just to arrive. It actually only takes about 11 minutes, I think, total for the, to the, the whole trip itself, going up and then coming back down and things like that. Um, so it's, it's definitely a uh, much different experience than you would if you were going up into, you know, hundreds of miles above the Earth's surface. Uh, so, but still, it's going to be the ultimate thrill ride of your life. That's for sure. I can't imagine. I mean, going to the edge of space, I mean, kind of define that for us. How, how far up are they going again? So there's a definition for what is considered space. It's called the Kármán line. It's about 62 miles above the Earth's surface. So they are just above that line for only a few minutes. And then after that, they finally make their way down. But they'll be able to see the curvature of the Earth. Uh, they'll be able to see that nice line of our atmosphere, the thickness of our atmosphere. So they will literally feel like they are in space for a while. Uh, the New Shepard has some really nice large windows, so the people that are there are going to be able to see the Earth below and in space above, and or in this case, from their point of view. Um, so it's going to be an absolutely ast astounding experience for sure. Pretty amazing stuff for sure. Derek, always appreciate the insight. Thanks for joining us this morning. My pleasure. Have a great day. You as well. Let's get to.